time for a big step in trying to fix my uh, gum issues. I am heading to a periodontist appointment today. I tried to set this up like a couple of months ago, but they were just, didn't have any openings for uh, like three months. But this morning they had a cancellation, so I'm able to go in. So we'll see what they have to say and uh, go from there. Well, I went to my appointment and, oh boy. So right here, bottom line, <laughs> If I didn't have insurance, it would be $27,299 to get my teeth fixed. With our insurance, it takes a lot off, $5,588, but still, that is a lot. And basically, what, what they want to do is they want to take some bone cadaver bone <laughs> and apparently it comes like sand I guess and they put it where you've had bone loss put some kind of membrane over it and it's kind of amazing it actually will grow into your bone to add bone to where you've lost bone and then some kind of sutures I'm not really sure where that comes in but their idea is to clean it out they want to do one half at a time but clean it out add that bone and membrane and then some kind of sutures and then have it grow back your bone your gum grow back to your bone and uh wow that that's kind of a lot of money i know there are some other other ways that i've seen that it's um laser um gum restoration surgery which they they cut away at some of the bone and some of the, the gum inside underneath where it will kill off the bacteria and infected areas and then apparently that stimulates growth and it will grow back together a lot less invasive no sutures and that kind of stuff but apparently that is usually only for mild to moderate and mine is kind of severe so I'm not sure if that's even an option. And then the other thing is this pinhole gum restoration surgery where they like make a pinhole in your gum and they like break it away from your teeth and bring it down. And I would imagine they'd clean that in there first too to get it. But even with all those, all those are probably expensive and surgery and all that, it still doesn't get rid of the problem that caused it in the first place, which is bad bacteria getting in there and flaming the gums, bringing it away from the teeth, and then just eating away at your bone, teeth, and gums. So it could just come back and happen again if I don't get that taken care of, which is something that I've seen that is a big issue in a lot of the research I've done is our oral microbiome and our gut microbiome affects a lot of things and if I need to get that under control. So I, I've seen and have been thinking about a supplement that I've come across that actually populates. It's, it's this thing that will populate your oral microbiome, the good bacteria in there that fights off the bad bacteria, heals the bone, teeth, and gum, and so I went ahead and ordered some of that. I mean, that would be just amazing if that would take care of the problem. So I've got that on order. We'll try that. I'm going to look into the other surgery things, see what can come out of that. But I don't know. Hopefully this supplement will take care of the problem and won't have to go through these expensive surgeries to fix my gum issues.